What's up guys, you're watching Super Game Dad play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We finished up last episode on Eventide Island. We solved all the quarrels going on here. And now it is time to head back into the depths. Eventide Island Chasm. Let's roll. So from here, I'm hoping that we could map out some more of the depths. Not sure what it's going to look like here. We might just be... I can't see anything. It might just be like, um... A small chunk of depths. The shape of Eventide Island. So that wouldn't surprise me at all. Start with the giant seed and we'll go from here. Yeah, I'm not sure if we should be flying. Maybe we should fly. Let's do that. Let's build a bike. And we'll throw a, a giant bright bloom seed on it. I think that's the way to start. Let's go along the edge. So now we got a headlamp here. Whoa, what's this structure here? Coliseum? Ooh, Lone Island Coliseum. Nice. All right, we don't want to just drop in the top. Let's go in the front door. Let's do it proper. Beautiful. We got a light route right here, too. We didn't have to fly far to get some action. <laughs> awesome. So this must be corresponding to the shrine that we found on the island. We'll have to check that. Yeah, so it is just a little chunk of island. It's a light route, or it's a depths island. Right, yeah, see? Perfect. Where's the bike? It's kind of blended in, huh? I see, oh, there it is. I was going to say, I seriously can't find it. <laughs> Alright, so we got some light. I'm not going to ascend up that thing yet. What's this over here? Oh, I thought I saw something against the wall there. It was nothing, though. Maybe there is no front door to the Coliseum. We might just have to uh, barge in from the top. Let's just go around. Oh no, that is a front door. All right, let's see what we got. Awesome, this is exciting. <laughs> it's Bokos! It's a Boko Coliseum! Hey, do we have the Master Sword? We do. Yeah! Just some reds. Easy there, Panama Red. Yeah, this one's going to be easy. I mean, unless we get some boss bocos in here. Ouch. Ouch. We got silvers? Just one silver, though. I don't think so, pal. Oh, here we go. I'm glad there's another phase. Huh, maybe we should drop something to get this royal broadsword, though, real quick. Let's check it. 
Yeah, 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 we could drop this. <laughs> this guy's not playing games. <laughs> that was epic. Broke the master sword off on his head. It's another black one, huh? We need a new weapon. Let's go with this. No, no. <laughs> Frozen at the perfect time. Let's do the fire blade. Where is he? Oh, here he is. He got blown away. Dude! Woohoo! We got it! All the bokos are down. Let me guess, 20 crystallized charges, large crystallized charge. Whoa, Midna's helmet. Wow. That does sound like a rather rare find. Very cool. We could probably really fashion up right now if we wanted to, you know? We've got a lot of armor. Let's just pick up all these little pieces here and then I don't think we have anything else to do as far as uh, even Tide Island goes. I think we got everything we can do here. Yeah, I don't really want that. We'll just pick up the parts. The pieces and parts. And yeah, that'll do it. That's all she wrote. So let's take a look at the map. What other shrines have we got? Okay, so there... Maybe there are is no other depths over here, right? Because look at the shape of the sea. I think that's it. So it's this part we had trouble filling in, though. And where we can start is there's got to be a light route right here. Right by the mine. Let's go here to the Dunsel Canyon mine. And we're going to go just... It's like just west a little bit. And maybe whatever light route is here will really light up a nice little chunk so let's um so we got to turn around this way let's build another air bike of course we'll put another seed on it So it's kind of straight this way. I don't know how we missed it. But now we have, we know exactly where it should be. Yeah, look at that. How did we miss that before? We were flying in circles over here all around it. We got it, though. Here we go. This is going to really light this area up, I think. Much better. See that? Look. Awesome. So now let's check this out. Yeah, we're really mapping this place out again. So we need to... See, where is that? A shrine. Is this a shrine? There's a light route right here. So it's just to the left of this X. So how about we go up, we'll get this X, we'll get this light route, and we'll get that X. We're kind of facing the way we need to go, so it's towards those trees a little bit. Oh man, we got we got this figured out. I don't know why, but this bottom right corner, the southeastern corner, was just tough to map out. We got it now, though. We're on to it. Okay, so if we look on the map, here's the shrine. 
Boom. Right here, we should have a light route. So we're pretty close. Except there's like a mountain right here. I think we maybe need to turn, fly above it. Oh, is this a dead end? Ah! Oh, there it is. No, we're looking at one. Is this one we've never found? There's one right here we've never gotten. It's like in the middle. We got some music going here. Okay, so here's what I suspect. When you look on the map, there's a part you can't go through here. I think this goes all the way down. We need to get on the other side of this, which the way to get there is not very obvious. Um, I think we're gonna have to come from this side and see if we get through or around if there's another way over here to get around this left side, otherwise, we're going to have to try to get in through the, from the top, or, yes, this is it, East Hill Chasm. We'll have to go in this chasm. I think that's how we're going to get there. All right, so to get to the other side of this wall, let's look on the surface. Kakariko Village, this chasm right here. Boom, that's it. That's how we'll get there. So let's warp to Kakariko. Get to the other side here. So this is it. I don't think we've ever, we've danced around this thing, but we've never actually went in this chasm, except maybe to chase the uh, dragon for a second, but we never actually went down and explored from here. Now's the time, let's do it. So cool. Every time. Every time it's cool. What do we got here coming at us? Frox? Get him! Help me out, guys! <laughs> yeah! Let's get a little bit of light here. Okay. I see a light route out in the distance. Right over there. So which way are we facing? That's facing north, but... You know, we might as well start out there. Oh, man! Ah! We're getting attacked! He's dead. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's put a giant one. It's got to be a giant. Light route dead ahead. Oh, man. Boss. Boss battle. You better believe we're going to hit that, too, on the way back. For sure. And then we'll mark it up. Sweet! Oh, that's gonna be fun. Now that's one I don't think we've fought in the depths yet. The armored Goma. 
Yeah, so this whole like section of the depths, it's very uh it's very fractured. So it's gonna be that's why it's tough to fill in. Alright, let's go take him out. I don't even I don't remember how to beat him. Old Master Sword's power is restored too. Perfect timing. Put a couple hits on him right here. What can we hit him with? Do some damage. Oh yeah, some Gibdo bones. If only we had more stamina, we'd take him out. <laughs> Before we even hit the ground. Look at that, we got half his health off almost. Woohoo! So what do we got to do here? Those are bombs. Look out, look out. Can we recall these to him? Oops. There we go. There we go. Got one. Boom! Hey, it didn't fall on his head though. What's up with that? <laughs> That's working. It, it did it. It did a hit on him. Okay. That's awesome. <laughs> we gotta bust bust his armor, right? All right, phase two, phase two, guys. Let's keep moving. Wait, let's wait till he leaves us an opening. Shows some kind of vulnerability. What happens if we recall one of these? Where did they come from? Oh, he shot some more. He shot some more outside of there. Oh, you know what I just realized? We do need a little bit of health. Let's go with simmered fruit. Nah. Oh, we got some random stuff here. Cheesecake. <laughs> What if we hit him with a bomb? That do anything? Ah, we're stuck. Whoa. So there was more there. We got to get out through here. That's how we do it. Nice. If there was only an, a quick way up there, you know. What if we just shot a bomb up there? See, I don't know if that did as much damage as the Gibdo. Gibdo Bone did.
Pretty good. See, we, we just don't have enough time to get up there. This is working. Getting there. Oh, one more. Ah, oh, so close. This guy's awesome. See, this is totally different, too, because last time when you fight the boss, he's in like a circular arena, right? What a shot! Sniped him. <laughs> he went nuclear. So cool. Look at this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's attach it to something. Let's do it to... To this? Yeah, let's do it to this. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a giant axe hammer. Super cool. So I see a light route out there. Which way are we facing? South. So that's probably the way we'll head next. Huge crystallized charge. Oh man, we're close. I think we needed 800, if I remember right, to max out our batteries all the way. So we're pretty close. All right, guys, we will end this one here. In the next one, we are going to continue mapping out the depths. We are getting pretty close. Not too much left. Press the like button if you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy, everybody.